I'll watch the twilight shadows from the... Uh, we also have a herb that is used in smudging, which is juniper. Juniper needles are used mostly by uh, dreamers it, uh, and also for those who want to have a good sleep. It is used to purify the bed and uh, the uh, sleeping room, bedroom, uh, before going to sleep in the evening. Uh, those who want to work on their dreams, dreams are very important in the native tradition, um, they will burn this before they go to sleep. It's also very useful to work on uh, uh, lucid dreaming, staying awake in the dream while you're dreaming, which is a, a spiritual practice common to most nations in North America. This is the sludge that they will use. For this, it's also available in powdered form. Another smudge that we use, not as frequently, but it really uh, has a lot of merit. It is a very pleasant smell. This is a chaparral. It is a plant that uh, lives for very, very, very long time. It exudes a kind of resin that kills the other uh, flora around it so that it's always expanding and it grows in the desert so it grows really, really slowly but very, very long time. I think they found specimens that are uh, 40,000 years old. So any meditation that is working with time, time travel, looking through prophecies, uh, um, also when you want to acquire equanimity, uh, very profound balance of uh, emotional uh, steadiness, uh, these kinds of meditations will be very uh, helped with uh, this smudge stick. I have created another smudge stick, or wands as we call them, uh, so that I can combine the energies of different herbs together. So it's four parts cedar, two parts sweet grass, one part white sage, buffalo sage, and one part chaparral. So it has a very complete energy, very good for rituals, very good for meditations. Um, I wanted to combine different herbs together to get an overall uh, special energy uh, that could be used in many circumstances without having to combine the herbs and this would be the Blue Eagle Wand.